What's up folks, SK back again with another video for you guys on Black Desert. This one's going to be more geared towards the people that are life skilling and want to make a lot of passive money when it comes to Valencia com coming up in the next week. Um, this video is going to teach you about node connections and making crates to trade in Valencia once you have your artisan or master 2 buff. Now I say artisan or master 2 because we are not sure what section we have yet when it comes to the buffs of the game. No one's sure if we have Artisan um, 2 or Master 2 buff because the, the Artisan 2 buff was implemented later or earlier last year. Whereas before that it was always Master 2 that you had to grind your trade to to get the, the Desert buff. And the Desert buff exponentially increases the amount of money you get for trading items in the Desert along with the distance bonus so it's a ton of money and you want to have that buff we just need to know what where that buff is at right now I did ask one of the CMs and they said they'd ask the um, the developers so I guess we'll find out then or whenever Valencia comes out which is in about four or five days now depending on where you're at so to get to the point first of all I'm gonna show you guys the 50 CP node connection and I'm gonna put it in the beginning of the video so you don't have to go you know searching through the video to find it and the 50 CP node connection gets you from Trent so it gets you from Trent all over here all the way to Valencia in 50 CP that's all it's gonna cost you is 50 CP it doesn't connect any of these other cities but there is another node connection I can teach you guys at your request that will connect all of these for about 78 CP I believe it is. It's either 78 or 82. But it's a 50 CP node connection that goes from Trent to Valencia like I said. And it's, it's the best connection if you're just doing crates and you want to have a bunch of workers set up in Aferia for whenever Magoria comes out, whenever that happens. Now, I set up this node connection because this node connection actually gets you to do your regular grinds as well for cheaper than going through all the cities. And this one takes you all the way up here through Paddock's Islands. So it lets you connect to Cool Island. So if you're going to grind pirates, you can do that. And if you're still grinding Saucens for whatever reason, it actually brings you over here. So you can just go from Ilya Island to Pujara to Dillingheart to Palava to the Susan Garrison Wharf. And they connect actually to the Susan Garrison, which gives you your entire node for a lot cheaper than running from Vilia to Sassan's Garrison or from um, from Portofiria directly to Kuwait after going through the rest of the cities. So that's my reasoning for setting up this node connection specifically. All right, so to do this process of crates, you're going to need 220 CP minimum. And 220 CP is really easy to get because of the repeatables that they've put in the game, as well as the dailies you can do daily. If you've been doing daily since day one, you should be at 200. You should be at 220 CP right now, actually. If you've only done the main story through one character, I've only done the main story through one character, and I've done my dailies since day one. Not the um, CP dailies, but the actual repeatable dailies for like the Mantra Force, where it tells you kill a bunch of Mantras then kill a bunch of catfish men, then kill a bunch of rooms. And then the dailies for your hunter seals over here. Those are the only dailies I've done, I'm at 220 CP today. I didn't want to grind that whole goblin CP thing and I never had a party to do it, so it's not necessary to do that, but if you're in crunch time right now, you might want to go ahead and grind, find a party and just grind the goblin repeat on and all. I mean the imp repeat on and all. It's an improvement. I keep saying Goblin. Goblin Slayer. Too much anime. So, for Calpheon Timber Crates, you're going to want to come to Trent. And when you go to Trent, you're going to want to go to Trent 2. This is going to be your woodwork bench. This is where you're going to be able to find out how to make your Calpheon Timber Crates. Calpheon Timber Crates take 5 birch plywood, 5 cedar plywood, and 5 fir plywood. And you can also make the plywood here, but it's not recommended because... Processing will give you extra procs on that, which will give you extra material, which will make you extra money. Sounds good, right? So, there are nodes around 
trend actually that you can go ahead and connect to that are very cheap to get to and to connect to to grab these materials. Treon Forest and Mantra Forest up here. You're going to have Mantra Forest if you're going to be doing ogres anyway for the foreseeable future. So go ahead and invest in the Mantra Forest. And those give you fur. Whereas Lumberjack Rest Area and the Longleaf Tree Forest will give you cedar. And the Fionnoff's Cabin, I believe, will also give you cedar. It's either cedar or fur. You can't really check until you invest in it, which I haven't invested in because it's kind of overblowing what I'm doing right now. For Birch, however, you're going to have to come to Calfion and use Calfion workers for this because it'll get them to and from easier and doing your doing the work a lot faster. You're going to want to either get you're going to want to get Breach Ruins and Quint Hill. Like I said, my node setup right now is not what you're going to want to do because my node setup is was set up for something else that I was practicing to, you know, do but didn't really work out. Um, so you're going to want to get Breach Ruins and Quint Hill. Those two are the easiest to get to from Calfion. The other one would be over here in Old Dandelion. If you want to spend the points to get that, then you can go ahead. It's going to take you up here from this farm, Dias Farm, over to Northern Plantation, over to Old Dandelion. I think it's about, what, 1 CP, 2 CP, 3 CP to go over there? Depending on how much it takes to connect to Old Dandelion. Yeah, 1 CP. So it's 3 CP to get to Old Dandelion. If you want to get that, then you can go ahead. Um, you probably will still have enough points to do what, everything else you need to do. But remember, you're going to need 1 CP to buy the lodgings for the workers, depending on where, how much how much on the area is for the lodging. And it can go all the way up to like 4 or 5 CP, depending on how much lodging you need to get. Um, and like I said, you're going to want to process that stuff instead of using your workers to make that, to make the plywood because the extra procs really help. If you're gonna be AFK in the game, and if you already AFK fish, you might as well stop AFK fishing and just AFK process at this point. Because AFK fishing is not gonna give you as much money as AFK processing for the um, Calfion Timber Crates. That's just me being honest right now. For long-term goals, AFK Timber Crate processing is gonna give you more money than AFK fishing. I don't get me wrong when I say that. There are gonna be breaks in where you're just gonna be gathering wood for a long time. And in those times, yeah, you AFK fish. But you want to AFK fish in the out of bounds area, which is going to be Ross Sea. That'll go. That I'm going to put that in another video how to do that because it's kind of a weird little trick you do. But you can fish in Ross Sea and then trade in in Valencia and get the distance bonus as long as the fishing bonus, and it'll give you millions of silver. And if you have a full inventory, if we had the seal stones that we were supposed to have, like since the launch of the game, which cut your durability in half, which cuts your durability use in half then you'd be able to make millions of silver for AFK fishing very quickly. But we don't have those, so AFK fishing really isn't worth it right now. So, like I said, in between those breaks, you'll be able to AFK fish, but when you're when you're done collecting a ton of wood, you want to AFK process at every point in time because the payout will be amazing. I promise you that. So if you have 22 bucks to blow, you can go ahead and get the um, processing outfit. Processing outfit increases your processing rate by success rate by three percent. That's not the reason you're gonna want to get it. The reason you're gonna want to get it because is because you can process from your storage to your inventory. So the finished um, product will be put in your inventory, while you can keep the rest of the stuff in storage, and that makes it super easy because you can process loads of material without, without having to worry about being over over encumbered by the original material in the first place. So another good crate to make is the high quality sunflower crates. And the high quality sunflower crates, they take 10 of the high quality sunflowers and um, one black spirit product to make. Now, the best place to raise sunflowers, AFK, is going to be here, across from the Hideout River Bank, directly across, there's a stretch of land right here where you can stack up a ton of um, strong fences. Strong fences cost 10 CP a piece. And that's where a lot of your um, CP is going to go, to be honest, if you're going to do this way. I would suggest doing, adding both ways up to make more money. But that's just me. Um, if you don't have the CP or if you don't want to go, if you don't want to have to go and check your farm every day, then I guess just omit this way. 
But if you do have the time and if you do want to make the extra money, you can go ahead and set up sunflowers right here on this entire riverbank. And you can have um, at least 10 of the strong fences out. I'm not really sure. I haven't done this in a while. So I can't really confirm or deny what they changed to the section of, that section of the game. But the process is just getting sunflowers, letting them grow to 200%, collect your seeds for the next batch, and then um, harvest the rest of sunflowers from that. From every, from every batch of sunflowers, you should get at least 200 seeds if you harvest 10 from at least, I think, I think you get at least 10 seeds from the first six if you get them all to 200% and prune them and you know take care of the bugs correctly. So that'll be super easy to do and once you trade them to Valencia you'll make a ton of money off of that. So if you watched my grinding and media video that tells you pretty much where you can make the most money at, you remember I say that you remember I said that you get these um ancient coins that you keep because Valencia will be coming out eventually and you can trade them in for more money there. Well, that's going to be the time to do that when you get the Master 2 or Artisan 2 trade buff. As well as that, you can also make money by active fishing. I'm not sure if we have uh, the hotspot fishing in yet, but with hotspot fishing, you'll be able to pretty much find Colacan hotspots and fish up Colacans. Colacans are worth 250,000 silver a piece. And with the Master 2 or Artisan 2, trade, Artisan 2 trade buff in Valencia, they can sell for just over 1 million silver apiece. So, that becomes a very good way to make money. Now, there's an item in the game that we don't have yet. It's called a Triple Float Rod. And these are handed out mostly through events. So you can get them mostly through um, events whenever they do happen. Uh, the Termian Cliff events that happen, they usually give out a bunch of them. And these help you with your cola can active fishing. You can get three cola cans in a row from just from one triple float rod. Like from one cast of a triple float rod if you're doing active fishing in a hot spot. And it gets, it's pretty nutty when you start like reeling in the money. So that's going to be one way you can make a ton of money from that. That's going to be pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and share if you know someone that wants to, you know, get into trading when Valencia comes out to make a little bit of extra money. Well, a lot of extra money on the side. And peace.